Hi guys, my name is Neil Williams. Thanks for watching. I'm here at Studsbury Golf Centre um, and it's Golf, uh, golf Stud Hotel and Spa, I think, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we got there in the end. Um, uh, and this video is, we're going to explain how to play this golf course. So I've got Lauren here. Um, she's a county England, uh, no, a um, county player, um, captain. Here, yeah. Here. Um, and captain of the junior girls. Junior girls. Okay, so Lauren will be explaining to you how to play this golf course from the Red Tees. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've got um, George Long here, um, Europe, uh, Euro Pro um, player. Um, and for the guys who's going to be playing in the European uh, EuroPro event here at Dudsbury, um, it might be worth watching um, how George is going to explain to you how to play this golf course here as well. Um, so he hits a long ball, um, I've, I've heard. Now and, now and again, now and again, it's all about um, hitting it on the right time, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Um, we're playing off the um, back blocks as well. And also, we're, um, I'm complete. I'm, 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 uh, I'm with. Oh, you! I have the pleasure of playing with um, George. Uh, what's your last name? Barry. Barry. George hey, Barry. Um, and he's the golf manager. No. Close. Close. Uh, <laughs> no, business, business manager. manager. Business, yeah. business, business so I, manager. I do the boring part of uh, the golf club. Hey, you got an opportunity I get to, to come basically. out for nice days. <laughs> this is his work. This is his <laughs> yeah. office. Oh, I'm on the clock. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so uh, watch and enjoy. Yeah, yeah, go for it. So uh, let explain. So we've got um, so par four. Oops. So par four, three hundred and fifty yards uh, downhill yeah, here. Um, so what's your swing thought? Oh, well, not, so how's your course management here? Uh, so first of all, it's pretty generous. So it's got to be dry, right, in my opinion. We're just going to take it straight over the right edge of these trees here. Of the green sort of dog legs, and tucked in behind those trees there. So there's a bit of luck. Let's pull it off. Was it? That's it, it's pretty good. Got a bit of an audience at the Got moment. <laughs> Someone like that. Bit of a ripple. Like. <laughs> good shot. So something like that then. Yeah, somewhere on that line. How often do you take iron here? Just out of um, if it's blowing pretty strong into wind, I'm probably just going to take an iron. Yeah. Or if the pin's tucked on the front ledge, and I'm just looking to play it conservatively. Yeah. But if the pin's at the back, I'm definitely trying to get up there as far as possible. Okay. Is there a lot of room on the left? I yeah, mean, the ninth fairway runs parallel, so anything. I mean, if you if you were to go left. You could go left if you wanted to. Or? Yeah, there's like a tall oak tree down there. Yeah, it's about 10, 15 yards short of the green. But you but don't want to be like that way, straight, do you? you um, wanna be no, right you want to be left. You want to be just between. You can, yeah. can you see like where the ferns start to break in on the right? Yeah. Okay. Just from there to pretty much the left of the right edge of the tree. Here. So 
fan off the reds, 295. Yeah. What do you see here, Lauren? Um, I kind of just aim for the fairway here and hit a three wood. Because if I hit a driver, I usually might cause myself to go in the bunker or maybe in that tree on the right. Okay, so you're going short, uh, like, um, change the club then, you go shorter yeah. club. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So George has landed here from his drive. He's got a little flick into the green. Yeah, nice shot. Hundred? Do you know the yardage for this one? One forty-six, four nine. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's about one fifty to the middle. One fifty to the middle. Yeah. The second hole. Um, has is at the back as well, isn't there? There's like a stream yeah. or a ditch. Yeah. All around. Yeah. It's it's just sort of lying in green, just just getting over there on the right. So um, this is the back blocks, the blues. Um, stroke index eighteen, apparently. Yeah. Stroke index eighteen. So you don't so get a shot here, would you? No. Um, right, yeah, okay, but however, we are playing off the white, so we're not obviously not allowed to play off the blues, unfortunately, because um, we end up with, yeah. especially you've got the tournament coming up, um, so we're playing off the yellow, so playing at 1 130. 130. So we're one, one down, Lauren. Yes. We're one down. Team George, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> George, George, you won't get the names wrong, I'm terrible at the names. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Nice little knockdown shot. Be the right club. What a super putt. Nice weight. Hole three, uh, 414 yards, um, index six. So what do you see here? Um, there is a lake about, from here, about two, it's 290 to get in it. So uh, there's a little mound in the fairway up on the right here, about 270. Yeah. This is inside left of the bunker, so I think that's the ideal position, because that's like 150 there. Uh, Wind's in to the right, so ideally just probably take it just on the inside of that bunker there, as there is quite a bit of room out to the left side of the fairway. Yeah. So a bit like we could hold one up into the into the left side. Righty eh? Shape. 
My chat's slightly less technical. <laughs> I'm be aiming between the trees <laughs> and the bunkers. <laughs> and hitting it as hard as I can. <laughs> Is it? Grip it and rip it, don't they say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So again, no driver? No. No, because... Could bounce on into the water. Yeah, okay. I'll try and put it just slightly left of the bunker. Yeah. Good yeah. swing, good shot. Right where you want it to go. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Is he in? Oh, unlucky! So you've hit a lovely shot and you've got playing what? 170. 170. Yeah. Whoa! It's over. That's it. What are you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> Hole four, guys. Uh, 336 yards. And uh, you've got trees directly in front of you and the green. So you can just make out the green there. So, what's the plan, George? What your, what's your. Uh, Personally, I've well, had the pin three central. I'm just going to smash drive over the corner, bit of fade. Sorry, Hope go on. Bit, yeah, sorry. sorry. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> just going to try to smash drive around the corner, bit of fade, let the wind bring it back in. Um, but if the pin's tucked away, I generally lay it back into the open bit here with like a maybe a three iron or a four iron. Yeah. And just hit my shot in from like 120. Okay. So it just depends on the pin position, really, on this hole. Depending on the pin position, and that depends on your club choice, then, would yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, so where's the pin position? So did you notice the pin position when you drive part, went yeah, this you can, way? As you, as you walk up the third, you can pretty much easily Yeah, see so you recognise it. So where's the pin today? Uh, from memory, it's pretty central. Yeah, I think it is in the middle of the green. So that's where you're taking driver? Yeah. If it was, if it's tucked back left, like a little slope, and then I'll take an iron and okay. wedge it into the wider part, and come back up. And if it's tucked on the front, on the front left and front right, I'll generally just hit an iron up there. That's pretty careful. We'll give it a go. Oh, super Bowl. Follow that and George. <laughs> <laughs> what are you planning to do here, George? <laughs> <laughs> Not put it in the trees on the right. Not put it in the trees on the right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, nice rhythm that one. Good ball. That was a better one. Keep that one. <laughs> um, what's your what's management here? Um, I'll try and get where the two slopes meet in the middle, and I'm hoping now it'll curve round. Okay. So. Was, was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I call it perfect judgment. Not <laughs> perfect judgement. Uh, A1 position. Yeah, to be fair, the bunker's not bad. Pretty good position either way. 
Yeah, the bunkers look don't look too bad, yeah, do they? Yeah, they're pretty good. They remodeled the, a few on the front line for definite over the winter, and they're just starting to come into their own now. Nice and done. This one's a bit of an interesting one. There's, it's about, I would say, 280. So those two traps are kind of like narrowing the fairway up there. And after that, it's like a little downhill run into the, uh, into the fairway dips there, about 320, I think it is, on the bushel. So you got a ha um, hazard, you got a... Obviously, don't worry about me. Okay. Alright. So then... That's alright. I can edit it. Okay. Smoked it. Yeah, so... How do you want to... Tell me how to play that one. <laughs> Did you get that one? Yeah. yeah. Good. Smoke show. <laughs> Straight out of the middle. Yeah, so once it's... Especially at this time of year, it gets pretty dry on that downslope. Yeah. So yeah, I I would just hit a three wood. So you've hit three wood that one. Yeah. It, it, as soon as it rolls over that edge of the hill, you're getting up five, ten yards out of it. So as long as it's flying two seventy in the air, you're going to be fine. Okay. So you've hit three wood. Yeah. Why didn't you hit driver? Because driver will go run into the ditch out of three twenty. Okay. Just, as soon as so it you gets got past hazards that bunker. Right at the back. Yeah. Hazards. At the back. There. Yeah. So you got the two. You got two bunkers. Then the ditch runs all the way across the fairway. You got long, long path four, uh, long path four here, guys. Yeah. Proper, proper hole, yeah. really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, two, okay. Nice Personal favourite. Yeah. So if you hit a driver, you're gonna probably be in the risk of the ditch. I reckon that's about 220 or 30 yards away. Yeah. So, you yeah. don't hit driver a lot, do you? Oh, the um, first not like on the front five, nine, no. Front nine, so okay. I think back nine, a lot of driver opportunities there. Yeah. George, where have you gone? You're there, are you? Yeah, I got 180 for you. Yeah, I went out. Go on. Keep on running. <laughs> Pin high. Tough hole this one. There's a proper hole. Bat all square then? Yeah. Good part. Thank you. So par five now, first par five um, of the front nine. As the wind's off the left, just gonna aim. Left. You can see a 200 marker up there, faintly in the distance from here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna aim just at that, and then the wind bring it back in. Because it does dog leg slightly to the, to the right. Yeah. If there was no wind, they just cut it straight over the corner of these trees here. That's pretty much dead center of the fairway. Cool. Boom one down there. Right, right where 
way you wanted to start the ball, just no oh. cut. Straight through the wind. Love it. Straight through the wind. Too good. Hold on to something. <laughs> I don't want the power to suck you in or anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're right now, Lauren. You sure? Hold your mouth. Alright, hold tight. Here we go. <laughs> cut. Cut, cut, Left. cut. Oh, safe? Oh, safe as houses. That's not a line to be on, though, is it? Uh, you, you it's get not a too, bad one. Because you, you want to be right of of it. Because yeah, the, you want the, the ideal line is if there's no wind at all. It's just pretty much over the left hand side of these yeah. trees here. That's just bullet middle of the fairway. So you could, you probably might be able to over the trees, maybe. Yeah, you can you can even far right side the tree as long as you're long enough. Like it's two fifty to carry yeah. out. It just in the fairway open yeah. right up hand yeah. the. Here I try and cut off the right hand side of the rough and then that'll leave me a nice line in but it's pretty bare up there, I've just got a tree on the right hand side. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, I need that putt. You need that putt. Yeah. Lauren's got Lauren's a there. shot here. Yeah. No, well, she, no, she has not a shot here. We worked out. She doesn't have a shot. Um, so that four. I'm hitting my four. Yeah, in, in for three. four. Three birdie putts. So one of them's gonna drop in then. I did it. You saying this is the one of the trickiest hole? Trickiest uh, hole greens. greens. Yeah, definitely. When you got a front pin putting back down, it's always but one of the quickest putts on the course. So if the pin's at the back, you want to be kind of short. Definitely. You don't want to be putting back down this one. No. <laughs> Good luck <laughs> with your putt. Good line, it's yeah. not enough pace on it, maybe. Hole seven, part four, 422 yards. Yeah. Um, pretty tight hole by the looks of it. Yeah. Top of that hill, yeah. that wind is really uh, blowing. I don't know whether you can hear that wind, but blowing a holy. Um, oh, yeah. Well, if I hit one, driver, driver. Yeah. You're going driver here then, George. Uh, it's wind into. Wind into. Oh, I was. So you expecting to go over the ditch? Or no, not sure. I hope it's going to be short. Shot. Yeah, so if there's no wood into, I would only hit. Uh, I'd only hit a free wood. That would leave me just outside the 150, so not a whole lot of trouble in that regards. Uh, it's a pretty narrow fairway, so I tend to try and hit a fade off the left side into the fairway. Yeah. If I hit it straight, I'd just be down the sick fairway, so okay. it's no biggie. Yeah, so we'll see if go, if miss it, miss it left, isn't it? Yeah, miss it big left.
it's okay. Bunker. <laughs> Up and down from there. Pin high. Cash. So we're all square now after George sunk the putt. As long as he didn't do it too many times, well, I think we'll be alright. I don't mind losing to a birdie. Dancing, so top deck. Great shot, Ooh. just about. Uh, what do you have there? 170. 170. Straight down. Um, I don't think you want to go left, do you? Here, there's no, a water, this not is a water on the left. Hole, you can't miss it left or right, to be honest. You only miss it really short. And if the pin's at the back where it is, the middle of the green's pretty much the play. I know it's a steep uphill putt, but it's better than short than that. Yeah, so you feel like you want to have an uphill putt than a downhill putt? Yeah, especially off the blues, like a 190, like the green green you ever really need. steep bank on that. chance this was pretty straight not a back to back birdies was it not a fun <laughs> nine of nine birdies yeah. <laughs> i think george was saying about like nine birdies you get what was it 59 grand 59 <laughs> grand if you get back um nine birdies in a row <laughs> Just 
left. We've got three. We've got three. Oh, did you have a shot there? No? No. no. Some part, well done. I take, I pick mine up. So th this is the water. These are the hazards here. So it's about getting the right club for this hole. Really important. This get the right club because otherwise the hazard is just literally behind it on the left. And certainly you don't want to go right. The pin's tucked away right in front of it where Lauren is right now. It's you got an impossible shot if you're off the right. If you're down here, you've got an impossible shot to get onto the green. So, oops, um, definitely picking the right club. This hole. As it is downwind, I would personally, I would just aim just inside of the right hand side of the trap there because it will kick down the fairway. So, as long as you can fly it up roughly to that bunker, which I think is 280, like George has just done there, and it always kicks up and round. And you want to be down the right hand side of the fairway if you can get past the bunker because that's the flatter part. If you can't get past the bunker, which some of you guys might not be able to. Then the ideal line is actually just to be just behind the bunker. I know it's about 180, 190 in, but at least you've got a flat lie. And it might be out of the rough, but again, at least it's a flat lie. So that was in for a four. Yeah. So a little flick in, wasn't it? That that um, shot. Oh, that smokes it down there. I don't want to be walking backwards on this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look okay. out. You know what? After I don't know if they'll use this tee. Oh really? Yeah, I don't know if there's enough room up here. It's like silly little things like who gets the, like the guys that as it happens I spoke to guys that do the boards yeah. and they're eight foot by four foot and there's about six on each oh, hole. I see. And then, honestly there's not much room. Right. And also so on the deck. Like advertisement point of view. Yeah, and it might have to be four foot right, but if we pay for it, we've also got four porches. Oh, we'll just go on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll work. That's a mile. That's huge. So, what happened there? Well, <laughs> Tell the I viewers. I guess I better judgment. I took driver. <laughs> Uh, the wind off the right was quite helpful actually because the hole generally shapes round to the left there but uh, for people who obviously if they're going to hit a draw I'd recommend starting it no wider than the last silver birch up there on the, before the break which is, you can see it it's just behind the 200 marker up there uh, Good generally a fader or you hit it straight I'd recommend it just hugging the inside of this dead tree up here in the fairway and again that'll to keep you within the fairway and plenty of means for it to go wrong if you do hit a bad shot but I mean again the layup is just I always just hug it down the right hand side 
you could probably hit like a three iron or a two iron, especially if it's downwind because it's downhill as well. And you only have maybe a three iron left into the green because it will chase on quite a way down the fairway. Okay. So it's a pretty generous tee shot either way you want to play it. So I'm going to go for a two iron and we can see what which one's... No. Let's see which ones are. I think two irons is a safer shot, eh? Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably the percentage play. Yeah. The first hole of the day, just getting the fairway. Give yourself a chance to burn. So that was your drive? Yeah, wow. We'll just stick with the drive. We'll edit that one out. I think it's more of like a situational tee shot, isn't it? Like, if you're playing well and you're driving the ball well, then you've got to take, I would take it on every day. Yeah. Just because it opens, well, you're hitting a 7 iron, 8 iron into the green. But if you're only having a half decent day or not driving the ball very well, there's nothing wrong with being back there on the flat and then coming in from, I don't know, I think it was 220. Yeah. And you can land up left of the left side here and it'll run all the way up to the pin. So I don't think there's anything wrong with either way you play it. Okay. It's pretty generous, so. So you've got a bunker, pretty tough bunker on the left hand side. There. So what are we here folks? I've lost count at the moment. I'm Lawrence down for five, but without a shot. at the front a lot of people tend to hit it short and then let it run in because there's a little bit of a down slope just in front of the green there if the pins at the back I would generally try to play to middle left of the green it's a pretty straight uphill putt I would never try to flirt with the right hand pin or the right hand side just because anything to the right side of the green is completely dead if you are gonna miss I would miss left just because everything will come back down towards the green that's true yeah so it's pretty much a safer shot yeah maybe just to hit like a maybe a sort of some sort of fade in there or just a low chaser into that front edge. Yeah. Give yourself a two putt chance for par. Yeah. And just get out of it. Good shout. Wow. Well, yeah. Tough part three. So I think for match match purposes, you're going to watch us hit some from the uh, the yellows here. Uh, no, the yellows, the whites. Um, but that's a tough part three from the blues there. Nice. Sorry, 
throwing darts now. Let's see my shot. He's warmed up. So hold 12. Yep. 420 is the, is the number. If there's no wind into, longer guys can quite comfortably get over the ditch. I think it's only 280 to carry the furthest point. I think it's 250 to the narrowest, to the shortest point. Uh, but as it's blowing a hoodie into wind, just knock a free wood down there into the flat, just short of the ditch. They usually anywhere between 160 and 140 to the pin, if the pin's in the middle. So let's see if I can do that. So how come you got, yeah nice shot, so how come you gone for three wood rather than no driver? I just wouldn't be able to get it over the ditch today, it's just too windy. windy. It's, about, it's about 300 to carry it today. Yeah, it's too far. okay. But so if it's wind, with wind, wind, with wind. Yeah, or no wind, definitely over yeah. the top of the driver yeah, all day. Okay. Yeah, interesting hole that one. It's that you definitely be. Yeah. What have you got here then? Thirteen. It's quite a tricky little hole to navigate, really. It's only four ten, but the ferry gets quite narrow from the one fifty in. Um, you can lay up short with like a two one or a three wood up by the 150. And I, if you do that, I recommend hugging the right side as much as you can, just to open up the angle to the pin. But myself, I like to hit driver and just try and get down there as far as possible because the fairway does widen up once you get down past like 270, 280. It does start to give, give a bit more forgiveness up there. Yeah. So we'll just see how that goes. Okay. Generally try to maybe hit a fade off this hole, just sort of camber it back into the fairway. So you got driver? Yep. And where's your, where do you aim? Um, if the wind's not off the left, I'd generally just aim just in the left edge of the fairway. So, um, yeah, just like um, as you look at it, just on the left edge of the pond. Yeah, the pond there. Yeah, just that's down by the green. Okay. So I'll reach off the tee, but that's generally where I try to aim and then move one back into the fairway. If yeah. the wind's off the left, like today, I'll just aim just in, just a uh, smidge left. Yeah, like wind on the left. inside of the tree line yeah. there, and just let it blow it back in. Cool. All right. Drive there, George. Yeah, actually, wasn't me. <laughs> so, how far you got? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, that's, that's kind. Uh, 100, exactly. 100, so exactly. left it at 100. Yep. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. It's a full shot in? Uh, pretty much for this one, yeah, three quarters. You're going to use that backstop, that sort of? Nah, I'm just going to fly straight into the pin. The backstop's about. Oh, you put past it. Yeah, nice done. Yeah, nice hole this. Yeah, she's pretty.
shot. Good. Yeah, lovely shot. The driver. Yeah, so I'll try and just cut the corner of the tree off. Uh, just take the bunker out of play. And then there's quite a nice down slope, so it can shoot on a little bit more. And then if you're on the fairway, it's a chance for a good birdie as it's par five for ladies. Super shot there, Lauren. Good drive. 176 for the pin. Downwind. 176 downwind. 176 downwind club then. Yeah. Probably a five iron, I reckon. Nothing really back. No, no hazard at the back though, is no. there really? Just bare grass. Yeah. Well, I love your shot. Hold it, hold it. I really don't want to pop mine. <laughs> yeah, solid five four. Yeah. Four three. Isn't it? Four, three. <laughs> Look at your feet, George. Look at your feet. <laughs> so a nice little par three here, surrounded by bunkers. Um, the green is the back is high and the front is low, so you might get a bit of spinach on the on the old shot. George has nicked our honour. <laughs> Lauren's honour. <laughs> yeah, not my own. <laughs> Super strike. Oh, hold on. Oh, Members bad. bounce. It was a good bounce, isn't it? You've done something. You've done. It's the. Um, you done something to someone. And <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, so it's good deed. Yeah. Good Makes karma. Change. Three in the jaws. <laughs> but I've forgotten about them now. We're going to see the green cubes. That's, yeah. that's right in the pocket, that one. Hole, this is. Hole 16. Yeah, it's a good in this one. Take on as much as, as little as the lake as you like. Just squeeze one over. Yeah,
what's the line? What do you take it on? Uh, there's not really much. Well, I mean, the tee spot, so I really can take it over the lake. But so, what's your line? What do you take? It um, on? I would just take it just in between the 150 posts, just down there in the left side of the fairway, and just the edge of the pond. Yeah. So you pretty much just got a straight line down. And obviously, if you hit it far enough up, everything will come back down towards the pin anyway. And the further up into the fairway you go, the more it opens up the angle. So it's a pretty straightforward tee shot. Yeah. Not a lot of uh, you can't go for it, but and the, the green it narrows up, doesn't it? I think the further yeah. right you are, the, the longer you've got. Yeah, yeah. The further right you go, so it opens up the angle, but you've got yeah. slightly further going into the pin. But it doesn't really matter where you are to be fair on the fairway. You've only got a wedge in your hand most of the time, so it's not too challenging. George has gone over the corner on the left hand side, obviously he hits it further than me, so I want to go a bit further right. It's a bit more safer. Yeah. Oh, could be alright, yeah, strong enough. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I wasn't planning for that shot. <laughs> <laughs> My bad shot's gone left, so it ended up going left and uh, it's all okay. <laughs> so on this hole I tried to just cut the edge over the water and then this all contours round to the left so I just let the ball roll round to the left more and if you want to be safe just plan to go right and it should roll more to the left. Would you go shorter club though? Um, when you're aiming right when you would you go Yeah, I'd go probably a hybrid if you were just going dead yeah. straight and taking the water out. But I think if you're going for a driver def um, if you're going over the water yeah. definitely a driver. So you could take on driver and then take on this ditch. Um, and land it about here. However, there's a lot of hazards. So I, I wouldn't really recommend it. And I was speaking to George Long and he wouldn't recommend it as well. So he was saying just get it in that position where we were before. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, lovely putt. Yeah, it's a really pit, pretty hole, this one. Lots of wildlife around here as well. <coughs> Give it a try. Yeah, have the right line. Lose. We're going to be um, making some good 
numbers on a foot bit going all over back to the blues there. All over there. Drivers? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 15, 16, Net almost 90 yards from the white tees. Proper par five from back here, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Controlled fade there. Fairway finder. Fairway. <laughs> yeah, good shot. Yeah, nice shot. So chaser. Yeah. Is that a tiger stinger? Yeah, try to be. Not much of one, but it does try to be. You've hit, interestingly, you've hit an iron there, whereas yeah, it's not. It has a bit of gamesmanship because he said, <laughs> "I said, I said, what path are you going to take?" He goes. Driver, <laughs> <laughs> and he that, then gets his tip. That was your partner that said, Yeah, oh yeah, it's got to be driving. <laughs> I have nothing to do with it. I didn't really play, play that know? game. What She's about 150 yards <laughs> down there already. <laughs> if you'd be lucky to get past the reds, wouldn't you? We'll get a few yeah. people dropping their trousers down. <laughs> what about Fred and that needle? Well, that interesting run in the last two holes. You said, yeah, the there's just lots yeah. of danger. You got water in play, but do you stick or twist? 18 always seems to play in the wind, and that's yeah, best part of 500 yards. Par four, we shall see. On this hole I hit a driver, however last year I used to play this hole like with a 7-iron just short of the water when I wasn't confident with my driver and then I'd hit a 3-wood and then a chip on but now I'm feeling better than my driver I hit my driver hopefully past the water and then I hope in the sun when it rolls more I could get a chance to be on the green in two but... Really? Yeah. Yeah, so you're playing course management? Yeah. There, 7-iron, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it should be that. 
I wouldn't recommend doing that on tournament day. Oh really? Why is that? What uh, iron three wood? No, I would just like iron iron yeah, iron and then chip. Lay it up to 40, 50 yards and get your up and down. Yeah. It's a bit risky. It's a bit of trouble down the left. That's and down interesting. The right. I mean it's really tight here, yeah. isn't it? So you wouldn't I mean I I shouldn't have hit driver yes. from here. From Ideally, do you want to be just in that fat part of the fairway there and yeah. Just try and get up and down with your wedge. I mean if it's downwind you can maybe get past it. Well, it's a tough hole this one. Yeah, it's a tough, tough finishing hole. Tough, yeah. uh, two finishing holes. Yeah, this is definitely a card rocker on 18. Right, yeah, card yeah, rocker. I would say so. You've got to be pretty low out. I say pretty long off the tee. You've got to be at least 280 to get inside the 200. It's always into wind and then it's uphill as well. Yeah. And then if they put the pin at the back, it's just a monster of a hole. Good. <laughs> so here I just try and cut the edge of the fairway off. You just come out and take you probably see more. Sorry. Yeah. I pull the bunkers out of play, which is slightly easier. However, there are trees up all the way up to the right. But as long as you hit it straight. So take it further on, take it left, but not too far. I'm yeah. oh, sorry, take it, oops. take it right. Take it right. So you're definitely not going to go in the bunkers, that's how I do it. Because yeah. you're still guaranteed a second shot onto the green if you are in the trees. But yeah. probably not when you're in the bunker. Cool. So is that a knock, knock down? Yeah. Knock down shot? Play it safe with the green in the wing call it. Oh. Okay, so this is. For the, this is meaningful. Yeah. <laughs> Could create a little bit of drama here. This is for the win. I've had a read on this part and everything. You had a read. First one of the Are you joking me? <laughs> <laughs> what a read, you're welcome. <laughs> what a putt that was, by the way. <laughs> Go up and down. <laughs> that was quality. That was incredible. That was worth that was better than it. Good four. That was quality part there, uh, hey, George. Cheers. Well done, played, pl uh, George. Yeah, no honestly, <laughs> George, well done. Thank you. Good. Um, ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> How good was that part? Um, okay, so we've finished, and unfortunately, we lost. Um, it was only by one shot, wasn't it? Well, that remarkable part. We'll have to do a, a slow mo on that. I think. <laughs> That could be a new profile picture, that one on the 18th. Uh. Um, so, fantastic round, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic golf played by George and by uh, Lauren. Um, good luck for um, playing the Euro Pro Tour. Um, that's on the 25th, I think it is. Yeah, last, uh, end of, last week of June. Last week of June. Um, spectators? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're going to be pushing it, so hopefully yeah. get a few people up watching. So, it's cool. If you if you want to take part in spectating, um, cheer on uh, George here. Um, get some 
get some birdies on the go. He, he had a lot of plenty of birdies opportunities there, so good luck with that. Cheers. Um, Want to shout out to um, El Buried Elephant, uh, which is supplying our awesome uh, shirts. We had a few um, guys were um, going around, and they're all like cool shirts, guys, and um, that's part of it. I think it was a, they're a bit loud and a bit out there. So um, thanks very much for that, um, Buried Elephant. Uh, I hope uh, that's really helped your game as well with this um, information what we've uh, given you. So um, thanks for the thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.